You wake up today, I guess sometime around 11, maybe noon, you find out that um, Giancarlo Stanton is on the IL. 10-day IL with a, a biceps injury in his left uh, arm. Uh, that's not a great thing. He's a heavily muscled guy. I have no idea how long he will truly be out, but that usually takes a little bit to heal. Uh, I'd be surprised if he gets back before May, but that's just a guess. I have no idea. It's April 1st, so maybe it's just the 10 days, yeah. and they caught it before it became something serious. But right away, you look, and there's no excuses in baseball. Sorry. That's why it's the truest test of a champion, because injuries are part of everything, and you have to plan for injuries and have depth. So the Yankees are without their starting center fielder, their starting left fielder or DH, uh, their starting shortstop, their number one pitcher, and their number five pitcher in uh, CC Sabathia. That's a lot, lot of talent to lose, but no excuses. Uh, they had they had Stanton yesterday. They had him on Saturday. They had him on Thursday, and you lose two out of three to an Oriole team. That's about as bad a team as you'll ever want to see. But Don, you followed baseball your whole life. Just because you're awful doesn't mean that you'll automatically get get uh, beaten. By the way, Dylan Batanz is also on the IL. But um, the 62 Mets could literally play the yeah. 1998 Yankees and win a game in a four-game set. They could. There's a team that won 40 games in the season, the 62 Mets, and they could still beat the best team, some people think, that has ever been assembled. So if you're going to go and you're going to sleepwalk through a series with the Orioles and tonight against the Tigers... I'm not saying the Yankees slept no. walk, but you can lose these games. Of course you can, because that's the way baseball is. I said it back uh, earlier in the week. I guarantee you they're not going to go 19-0 and against Baltimore. You're going to lose games. And they were, what, 6-6 six and six against them the first 12 games they played last year. And there's a couple of things uh, at play here that you mentioned. First of all, if you remember, Stanton was not he healthy last year and played pretty much every game because they were so important. So maybe the Yankees are learning, listen, early, get him healthy because we're not going to want to sit him later on. It's going to be, I don't care what Bol uh, Boston's doing in Seattle, it's still going to come down to the Yankees and the Red Sox down the stretch. Got to be healthy. I'd rather see him miss games in, in March and April than missing games in September. Also... You mentioned this with Stephen A. Smith because you were on with him earlier, Michael. Look at you listening. The approach is different. You fall behind. This is a team that works counts. This is a team that's, that really wears pitchers out. And they certainly did that with Bundy. I mean, he was out of the game early. What, he throw 88 pitches in three and two-thirds innings, whatever. But you fall behind, and now your approach changes. And now that's not what the Yankees are about. And then they get to the ninth inning, and they did it the last two days where they're able to bring the tying run and the winning run to the plate because they're just that good offensively. But a lot of wasted at-bats in the oh. sixth, the seventh, and the eighth inning where maybe if they had a different approach the way they did in the ninth inning, they wouldn't have put themselves in that hole.